Hey everybody, I just took a dance class at my gym, The Knack, and it was so much fun. I wasn't sure what I was going to um, see. It was just a dance and an easy dance fusion, something like that. But anyways, it was so much fun. At the beginning, I thought there was like the traditional um, aerobics class, which I cannot keep a step. But then it got into a more dancey, and the coolest part of it all was that it had a totally different international music so of course Shakira was in it in there and a bunch of different uh, Indian music that we had to move our arms and so I wanted to show a little bit I'm, I'm dealing with this left shoulder pain and what I wanted to share today is how do we do fun classes this one was pretty fast and speed for the arms so I'm gonna show specifics on how to deal with shoulder pain when you're doing a lot of moves so for us a lot of the dance moves whoo lots of dangle there a lot of the dance moves that had to do with moving like this and so it was very important i needed to make sure that the shoulder was back there instead of here so difference here versus here and you can see it in the height right so if i get a little closer my hand is still up but we don't want this, we want that. So I'll show you from the back. Can you see it? Yes. So. So really important to keep that shoulder set like this. And so the other part to help with like fast movements is to keep the shoulder in front, keep the arm in front of the, the elbow in front of the arm. So when we're moving, we were doing things like this and moving through the ribs. I have to really be sure that, let me take this, okay, that it was fast, but I wanted to keep the elbow in front of the shoulder at all times, like that. The moment my elbow went back, it didn't feel good. So keep the shoulder, the elbow in front of the shoulder, slow down at the beginning when you can. By the end of the class, I could move a little faster, but that was still a little trickier. And then make sure that we get a stretch from here. So it's nice, they have a, a bar here and I can get, without it being painful, coming back. Kind of like a shark fin to stretch here. Right there. Well, like this too. Um, when you come across, a lot of people want to stretch this way, but that impinges here. So instead of going across this way, we want to feel the stretch here, maybe even into the shoulder blade. But if that causes shoulder pain, bring your hand up and pull like this without letting the shoulder go up. So pull like this, pull across. If you get all the way and you have no pain, right? Start moving the hand down a little bit, pull across. This is where if I bring it down any lower to I Love Jeannie, <laughs> some of you will remember that. If I bring it down any lower, I have pain. So I have to kind of stay here so that I can keep good form and get a nice stretch in the back. The other thing, when I stretch in the front, same thing. I want to be sure that my hand stays, that my shoulder stays back. So when I do a stretch and I can do it, I don't have anything to hold on to here, but if I hold on to the wall, don't look at my armpit, <laughs> bring it back palm up shoulder here palm up over here and same thing elbow in front of the shoulder and that'll minimize the pain so i hope that gave you some tips and uh hopefully if you have any questions let us know fluid physio every patient is an athlete